Hey guys, Brandon at LS4 King today with another new product. We finally have our solid mount kit for the LS4 with the factory 4T65 transmission. Something you guys have been asking for for a long time. I've actually had it in development for a long time. We're going to talk a little bit about that too to give you guys an idea of what goes into this stuff. So over here on the bench, what we have is a factory passenger side 4T65 mount for LS4 applications. You know, it's a hook and loop design, rubber isolated, steel studs top and bottom. This is the passenger side mount. This one's already cracking, it's deformed, it's sagged. Very common issue in the LS4 community. And what I wanted to share with you guys is kind of what goes into this type of product development. You know, it's easy to say, hey, I want solid mounts. Yeah, all right, cool, we can do that. Well, it's not all cut and dry. <laughs> a lot of times you start with a fantastic idea, and as you can see, as you go through the line of progression, you end up with something completely different than what you originally anticipated, right? So um, one of the big holdups on the stock transmission kit is really been this passenger side mount it was super complicated it's compound angles um the bolt locations are off centered you know uh the subframe side is in line the transaxle side is canted um there was just a lot that went into the original um you know concept of what we were going to use and you know as you can see here it was kind of some of our trial and error so our original design, we were going to try and make that mount from billet aluminum, uh, which we actually did. We moved into production, but during the test fit, I just wasn't happy with it. It was close, but the motor wasn't quite plumb. It was a little kitty cornered. You know, to be honest with you, most people in the aftermarket probably would have sent it out the door. Um, I just tend to be a perfectionist with this stuff and that wasn't cutting it. So we did retool the design it required a bigger chunk of billet, more waste on the material. Um, and, and, you know, ultimately what we decided is that doing this out of a solid piece of aluminum, not only is it extremely heavy, uh, which is counterintuitive because it's aluminum, right? Um, not only is it extremely heavy, but this is extremely expensive to produce. So I wanted to make the kit as affordable as possible, which is why we moved to a steel construction. So this was one of the initial prototypes. Um, when we were kind of designing the mount to figure out where everything was going to land, we got it very close based off our CAD model. Finally, we got it all wrapped up and we're able to make a fixture off our design. And from there, we proceeded to the final product, which is all really nice machined plates threaded for the M10 flange hardware beautiful radius corners, and standard mild steel 1 and 5 ace tubing to support on that side. So, you know, this is just a cool opportunity for me to share a little behind the scenes with you guys of what goes into product development. And, you know, it's not always super easy. You know, as much as I would like to knock this stuff out in a couple hours for you, um, you know, the, the fact of the matter is sometimes it can take months. Um, but... You know, the main takeaway is we are here and we've got another new product. Um, so let's jump right into how everything is mounted. You know, if there's any tips you need to know. So again, starting back with that passenger side mount we've been discussing so much, you will notice it uses all the factory bracketry. So um, the engine block to transmission support bracket as well as the cast aluminum mount that the old rubber mount went to, all this gets reused. So from an installation standpoint, super simple. Jack up the transmission or the engine, just put a block of wood under it, unbolt your mount from the subframe, unbolt it from the uh, cast aluminum bracket, slide out the rubber mount, slide in my replacement solid mount, boom, passenger side's done. Now, moving on to the driver's side, same concept. This is a much smaller and compact billet aluminum mount on this side, but it still uses 
the cast aluminum bracket that the factory rubber mount util utilized. So uh, same concept, you're gonna jack up the transmission, remove the two bolts on top, two bolts on the bottom of the transmission perch, slide that mount out and slide the billet aluminum piece in. Now you've successfully installed both of your transmission mounts. The last one is our tubular design for the front of the motor. Now, from the factory, you've got this giant cast aluminum clevis that bolts up to the block and has a rubber isolator underneath that would uh, take up the rest of the space down to the subframe. We've done away with this. It's extra weight, it's bulky, it's another alignment issue. You have to have a, you know, again, we're talking compound angles, bolt locations that make uh, no sense. Um, you know, this is just a much cleaner alternative. Gives you more room around the AC compressor, uh, you know, for things like your turbo oil return, if you're into that kind of thing, or, you know, anything else where you need critical real estate on these subframes. So this is very similar to the 4T80 solid mount that I sell. Um, the big difference is these mounts are intended to keep the engine in 100% the OEM location. So, you know, over time, your factory mounts are going to deteriorate, they're going to sag, you know, your, your motor is going to change alignment in relation to the subframe, and that's a bad thing. These solid mounts will eliminate any movement, they'll put more power to the pavement, more torque down, and, you know, hopefully keep things together a lot longer. Now, one thing I will mention, the upper dog bone. You know, every other W body has two dog bone mounts. LS4 have one. What I mean by the dog bone mount is uh, that little arm that comes off this bracket that attaches to the driver's side of the forward cylinder head and goes to the radiator support. You can do away with these and do away with your dog bone all together once you're on the solid mounts. The drivetrain does not move. You don't need this dampener. On our 4T80 conversions, we actually do away with it all together and the motor is also mounted solid to the subframe using the same triangulated configuration. So this is completely optional. You can maintain it. You can keep your dog bone if you like the aesthetic or maybe you've got a fancy billet one. Um, if you wanna keep the look of that, you certainly can. Definitely not required though. This thing isn't going anywhere with the LS4 King solid mount kit. So, you know, we've talked a little bit about why you'd wanna do this. One, lifetime service. You'll never have to change them again. You see stories on the Facebook groups and uh, you know what used to be the forums all the time of guys talking about how these mounts are trash. They have to change them multiple times, uh, you know, especially guys that are racing their vehicles. So this is an opportunity to have a forever fix. Slap the solid mounts in, be done. Um, you know, I will address the one giant question everybody's going to ask. Well, how bad is the vibration? How bad is the vibration? It's not. Stop it. You'll be fine. You're an adult. You have a V8. You don't have a four-cylinder. Um, NVH on V8s is much, much, much more tolerable for daily driving on solid mounts. Um, I do it with my 4T80 conversion. Several other guys on the pages do. If you don't want to take my word for it, ask them. W bodies are big cars. They have flexi chassis. They absorb a lot. They absorb a lot of NVH. Uh, you can totally get away with my solid mounts, even my solid subframe bushings, and you would still have a very enjoyable ride that puts maximum performance to the pavement. So these will be up on the website later on today. You know, it's been a long time coming. I'm glad that some of you guys stuck with me through it. But they are here, and I hope you enjoy them. If you have any questions or suggestions, sales at ls4king.com or drop them in the in the uh, comment section i will do my best to get back to you as quickly as possible thanks so much guys have a great day